This tutorial explains how to combine two pandas data frames with different column names in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the pandas library such as the data frame function, as you can see in lines four to six of the code. So in these lines of code, we are creating a first example data frame. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the top right that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data one. And we can print this data frame to the bottom right by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that our first example data frame contains four rows and the columns call one, call two and call three. In the next step, we are creating a second pandas data frame in lines 9 to 11 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that another data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data2. And we can print this data frame to the console at the bottom right as well by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a second pandas data frame, which contains only two rows. And you can also see that the column names of this pandas data frame are different compared to the first data frame, because this time the columns are called call one, call three, and call four. So let's assume that we want to combine these two data frames vertically. Then we can apply the concat function, as you can see in lines 14 to 16 of the code. And within the concat function, we need to specify the names of our two data sets which are called data one and data two. And then I'm also specifying the ignore index argument to be equal to true because I want to create a new index. And I'm also specifying the sort argument to be equal to false because I want to keep the original ordering of our columns. So if you run lines 14 to 16 of the code, you can see at the top right that a new data set is appearing, which is called data concat. And we can print this data frame to the bottom right in the console by running line 17 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new pandas data frame, which contains all the four different columns of our input data frames, call one, call two, call three, and call four. And you can see that the concat function has set some of the values in this output data frame to NAN. So more precisely, it has set the rows of the second data frame to NAN for the columns that did not exist in the second data frame. So in this case, the column call two did not exist in the second data frame. And it also has set the values of the first data frame for the columns that did not exist in the first data frame to NAN. So in this example, the column call four did not exist in the first data frame. And for that reason, those values have been set to NAN as well. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.